Do you have a wig you love, except it's just maybe a little bit too long in the back? Well, I'm going to show you how I trim the back of my wigs. It's actually pretty easy, and all it takes is a few specific tools. Keep watching for more details. Hi, I'm Christine, and I am on a campaign to make wig wearing more mainstream, so we can express ourselves any way we want without people looking at us sideways just because we happen to be wearing a wig. For practical tips on choosing and wearing wigs, wig reviews, as well as a little creative inspiration, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and hit the no notification bell so you don't miss a video. Now, because of my face shape, and let's face it, just my personal preference and my personal style, I don't like a lot of length in the back of my wigs. For one thing, it emphasizes my wide neck and my double chin. For another, I just don't like the feel of hair on the back of my neck. I like shorter wigs. They're less hot, lighter weight, and they don't get tangled up in whatever crossbody bag I happen to be wearing. And they just feel more me. But a lot of wig styles I love from the front are longer in the back than I like. A perfect example is this Felix from Sister Wigs. It's in the color Ravens and Roses. I'll show you the back. I love this wig. And when they restock the new colors, I'm probably going to get three or four more of them because the colors in this wig are fantastic. I mean, where else can you find a style like this? The other thing that sometimes happens is that since wigs are made by hand, even the same wig might be a little bit shorter or longer in the back because it was made by a different person at a different time. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just that people are not machines, so they don't do the same thing exactly the same way over and over. Luckily, there is an easy fix, which I'm going to show you. Now keep in mind that this method works best on wavy hair, because wavy or curly synthetic hair is more forgiving than a style that's very chiseled and very straight. The first thing I do is put on the wig and make sure it's perfectly lined up exactly where you want it. And also I do have a little bit of quilt batting in the crown of this one to give me some height. Um, and if you're interested in how I do that, I will link that video in the description box below. So I make sure the wig is on super straight and exactly how I'm gonna wear it. Make sure the nape is high enough because I have a tendency to pull mine too low. And then I just, I'm gonna look in the viewfinder here. Then I just find about where I want the back to fall without pulling the hair. Just let it fall naturally and just use your scissors uh, and snip. And I took about that much off. Doesn't have to be much, just enough to give you a guideline for when you take the wig off and start trimming it. Always keep in mind to cut longer than you think you're actually going to want because you can always cut shorter. You cannot put the hair back. First, I put the wig on a canvas head that's either freestanding or mounted to a kitchen counter or desk. Pin the wig to the head, making sure that the ear tabs and nape are level and even because you don't want to cut crooked. The first thing I do is pin up the hair so that only the lowest row of wefts in the back is down. I use the giant duckbill clips, again from Sally's, but any clip is fine. Using the little piece I already cut as a guide, I slowly cut the first weft, even with that guide piece, using tiny 45 degree snips. Your scissors need to be really sharp for this, so I use the professional hair cutting scissors I got from Sally's. I pretty much live at Sally's. And safety tip here, it's super easy to cut your fingers when you're holding the scissors at an angle, so be careful and go slow. The reason you use tiny 45 degree angle snips rather than cutting straight across is that synthetic hair doesn't react the same way to being cut that real hair does. And if you cut it off straight, the ends end up being really blunt and heavy on the end. This angled cut allows it to hang more naturally. You don't have to get hung up on making it exactly 45 degrees. Just get it as close as you can. I only use scissors to cut hair this way on curly or wavy hair because it's a lot more forgiving of imperfection. 
I haven't used this technique on anything that's straight or really precisely cut. Once the bottom weft is cut, I let down each weft individually and make sure it's cut at the same length as the bottom. I try to only let down one or two wefts at a time so I can still see the cut hair underneath as a guide. Then keep letting the hair down one weft at a time until you get to a place where it's all the same length in the back. Now I'll speed things up so you don't get bored. Now I'm just going to blend the sides in with the back. I want it shorter all the way around, so I'm going to keep the side length even with the back. But if you want to angle it down for more of a longer in the front stacked bob kind of look, you just blend the back length into the side length at more of an angled cut. Then just try the wig on and see if it's the length you want. If it's still too long, just take a little more off. Just always use angled snips and go slow. So here's the final length, short and swingy and sassy. So here is the final result. Uh, you can see that from the front, it doesn't look that much shorter. Most of the length came off the back and I'll turn around and show you that in a minute. But just taking off that little bit of length made such a difference in how it feels and how it falls and how it moves. And it just feels more like me. Okay, let's give you a 360 here. You can see, um, even though it doesn't look like it from the front, I actually did take quite a bit of length off the back. And I did um, actually trim up this length a little bit as well. I've put the link for this wig in the description box below. You can get it from Sister Wigs. It's called Felix. This is the color Ravens and Roses, or Rosens and Ravens, one or the other. But Felix comes in a lot of really super fun colors. I've also put links in the description box to the other products I use, the um, scissors and the canvas head and all that stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you have cut the back of your wig just to get it that fun, flippy shortness in the back. And if you try this method, please let me know how it turns out for you. Just remember, cut less than you think and go slow. For more content like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and leave a comment because that all helps YouTube decide to show my videos to more people which is the best way I can get the word out that wigs are one more easy but powerful way to express yourself.